Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I have a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict up today. Now, if you watched my layout for the birthday hop that went up on the 1st of March, <clears throat> I said in that video that I didn't have footage for two of my layouts that I created for this month and this is the second one. So unfortunately, my phone for whatever reason decided not to record. I don't know whether it was full or what was happening but... Anyway, very upsettingly, <laughs> I did not record this and I'm upset because I love how this layout turned out. So I just wanted to keep sharing it. Uh, so I'm going to kind of talk you through what I've done. It's not a particularly complicated layout. Um, yeah, but I think it's really sweet how it all came together. So you can see this photo of myself and my partner. Uh, we were just out for pancake brunch i believe my son and my mother-in-law were with us as well but i just snapped a selfie of the two of us and he's actually smiling which <laughs> if anybody knows me in real life you all know that that is a rarity so i definitely wanted to scrap that i have used um my kit that i am trying to kill for the month of march <clears throat> excuse me i've got a frog in my throat uh so it is based on jen hadfield's the avenue collection but this background paper, this background wood paper is actually from Simple Stories and it's like a basic, let me see, it's just down here, I can show you guys in case anyone was interested in some basic wood grain paper. So it's this pack here. So it's just called the Basics, Snap Basics 12 by 12 paper kit. Uh, yeah, so it's just all wood grains with these uh, kind of cream and white on the background but I only purchased it for the wood grains and I've used quite a few of them already this is one of them so not from my kit but I did pull it in to complement the kit I wanted the kind of I was sort of I don't know going for the kind of whimsical vibes of the kind of tea party so this cut file is called the flower tea cut file and it was released a couple of months ago maybe in january and i just thought it was stunning i love tea i am a massive tea drinker uh, again if you know me in real life <laughs> you'll know i'm a massive massive tea drinker i don't drink coffee but i do drink a lot of tea um and this with the florals i love flowers i just this really spoke to me and i have been kind of holding onto the cut file thinking what photo am I going to use it with and then I really wanted to scrap this photo of us because I don't get that many photos of the two of us where Danny is actually smiling and looks happy to be there so I wanted to capture that and I just thought perfect perfect so I've used the gold puffy thickers that I had in my kit um, I think they went with the Maggie Holmes collection remember this as my title added some of the gold puffy hearts just I only had what six left seven left because there's another little one just there so I just added them all onto the layout and also a couple of the kind of leaf pieces just to tie in the gold I've used mainly florals in fact pretty much only florals um, as embellishments I did add in one of the little um, these are fabric I know everyone calls them puffy hearts, but they're fabric if you haven't seen them before. Um, they're from Coco Vanilla Studios Daydream Collection. Uh, so I got one of those on the layout. And then, yeah, I backed, I, my teapot actually came apart from the flow. My own fault, I wasn't particularly delicate when it came to back, backing my cut file. So I actually just trimmed it up so it didn't look so ripped and popped the teapot up on some foam and then stuck the floral and the, the cup, teacup, down flat onto the layout. So yeah, I did that. The, the cut file also has a few leaves as well, which I actually decided to remove. Um, I could have totally left them on, um, but for whatever reason at the time, I just decided to cut them off. So I did. <laughs> um, so it had a few leaves on there as well. Um, and then I know I'm breaking the mold here. I did create four clusters technically. Um, when I showed this layout to my sister just before I'd finished it, I said to her, what do you think of the four clusters? And she said, oh, I only noticed two. She sort of noticed this is one entire cluster and this is one cluster. Uh, whereas I was sort of definitely seeing them as quite 
you know, three separate clusters here and then one up here. So, you know, there is that. Technically, I suppose this cluster is somewhat joined because of the title bringing it together, but it doesn't matter. We're going with it. I wanted the clusters on either side of my photo and then I just, I don't know, I just built them here and it, it just worked. So that's what we're doing. And then I finished with my Liquitex Acrylic Ink in white, which I'm loving. I've used a decent amount of it actually. Um, and it just creates really lovely fine splatters because I use a fan brush and the finer the brush, the finer the splatters, if that makes sense. So this is a small fan brush and it creates a very fine splatters. I do want to invest in a slightly larger fan brush because sometimes I do want larger splatters, but I really like how fine these splatters are with this fine uh, fan brush and I don't use it for anything else. So I rarely clean it properly. <laughs> you know, don't tell anyone, but yes, I rarely cleaned properly. So that is that, that is my layout. Nice and flat because I'm trying to cut down on the bulk in my album, um, but I'm done. So make sure you check out everything in the description box down below. So I will have linked to the Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file store in general, but I'll also link, link direct to this cut file if you'd like to kind of go straight there. Um, in the month of March, Virginia is having a sale for the whole month to celebrate the Confessions of a Paper Addict's second birthday. So now is the time to grab your cut files if you want them. I'm pretty sure it's like 30% off all cut files. You don't need a code. Just go and check out the store. Um, there's some exclusions like classes and bundles and things, um, but definitely go and check out the cut files there and pick up a few on sale while you can. Um, what else to tell you? Oh, and the Facebook group. Come and join us in the Facebook group because Virginia releases free cut files every month and this month's free cut file in the month of March is gorgeous. So definitely come and check it out because you will want to get that free cut file. Um, everything is in the description box down below. So come and hang out with us. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry that my phone played up and did not film this process um, for my last video of the month for Copa. Don't worry, it has been filmed. <laughs> you will be able to watch the process and it is a much more... Um, there's no florals. Let's put, I was going to say it's a masculine themed layout, but I don't like to gender things, um, but there's no florals <laughs> in my next layout. So if that is more your cup of tea, definitely keep an eye out for that one because you might like that one a lot. All right, guys, I think my son is just waking up, so I better finish off here. Um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.